Do you guys want to know how we do so many giveaways and top-ups in Genshin without burning through our wallets? Well, here's the secret. There's this website called Lootbar GG, where you can save up to 20% compared to in-game purchases. Since Lootbar uses the official partnership route, you can enjoy all the official Hoyaverse recharge events, meaning you can get twice the amount of Genesis crystals if you have the bonus. This is how I purchased 6,560 Genesis crystals for only $47. All I did was provide my UAD and make the payment, and one to two minutes later, I received the crystals on my account. No hassle. It's completely safe and secure. If you don't believe me, Lootbar has thousands of good reviews on their website. Take a look. Even big shots like Dukaja, Tevat Times, and Jello Impact approve of Lootbar, so head over to the link in the description and start saving money. New users get 5% off their first purchase. Hi guys. Today we will be talking about the Genshin Impact Roadmap covering version 4.8 to 5.2 and everything we know so far. Before that, we're doing a Welkin giveaway on our Discord server, so if you want a free Welkin, make sure to join. The link is in the description. Keep in mind that this is yet to be confirmed, considering we are still in version 4.6 and 5.2 is a far way ahead. Starting off with the version 4.8 banners, it's confirmed that we will be getting Emily in this patch. Emily is said to be a five-star Dendro Polearm user, but we don't know much about her kit yet. We will get to know more about her kit soon in the 4.8 banners. Here's her drip marketing. Let me know what you think of her design. The other character that will with almost certainty have her rerun in 4.8 is Navia. She hasn't had her rerun in the Fontaine patches yet, and following Hoyo's pattern, every regional character should have their rerun before a new region is introduced. Navia got released in version 4.3, so it's safe to safe that she is due for her rerun before Natlin. If we move on to the Phase 2 banners, we should definitely be seeing Ryathusli rerun banner with the same background as Navia. He had his release banner in version 4.1, so he is even more due for a rerun than Navia is, but overall both of them should be get their rerun before Natlin's release. We are also expecting to see Shenhei in 4.8 as her last rerun was in version 3.5, making her one of the characters with the highest non-rerun count. Now, let's move on to the 5.0 banners. In version 5.0, it's expected that we will be seeing the beginning of Archon reruns. If Hoyoverse is following the same pattern as before, we should be getting Zhongli's rerun banner in 5.0. Earlier leaks suggested that 5.0 would be the release of two new characters, but it is very unlikely that will happen, so it's safe to assume that they will be releasing in two separate patches. My prediction is that these characters could be Ian-san and Shabalanke, as they are the big talk of the community. The last character expected to show in 5.0 is Nilu, assuming she doesn't show up in 4.8, as her last rerun was in version 3.6 and is very much due for her rerun banner. Moving on to 5.1, assuming the Archon lineup will go on, we should be seeing Venti in this patch. There is also supposedly a new character releasing in in 5.1. If we take a look at the characters who hasn't had their rerun in a long time, that would be Kokomi. She last had her rerun in version 3.8, so it's safe to say she should rerun in the early Natlin patches. Lastly, we will take a look at the 5.2 banners, where we will be getting the Pyro Archon Murata if we are following Hoyo's pattern. Leaks suggest that we will only be getting one new character in 5.2, so it makes sense for it to be Murata. I also think it's very likely to see Arlecchino get a rerun in this patch. For the remaining characters, I will go off based on those who hasn't had their rerun in a long time. First one up would be Sino, who last rerun in version 4.2. To end off 5.2, they might also rerun Ayaka, who reran in 4.3. These are all speculations and early leaks, so take it with a grain of salt. Subscribe or you'll lose your 50-50 to Chi-Chi.